Hi, I'm Steve Gill with your Daily Notes for October 26th. Well, the battle of the tax plans is on. First, you've got Herman Cain's 999 plan that's now a 909 plan, as he tries to come out with a plan that would impose a national sales tax, reduce the corporate taxes, make things a lot more transparent so that folks will know what they're paying in taxes, even if for some it's higher, for some it's going to be a little bit lower. Then you've got the Perry plan. It's a flat tax plan that's set at 20%, and it's optional. If you're already paying nothing, presumably you'll continue to go with the option of paying nothing. If you're paying more, you'll go with less. If you're paying less, you probably won't choose to play, pay more. So I'm not sure how that's going to actually balance out, and the numbers are a little bit squishy, even for Rick Perry. Then you've got the Romney plan. Oh, wait a minute. There isn't a Romney plan. You've got the Newt Gingrich plan, which is sort of a flat tax plan as well. John Huntsman says as governor of Utah, he also put in a flat tax plan in his state, so he's the only one who's actually imposed tax reform. So they're all battling about the tax plans. What does that mean for the rest of us? Well, we talked to Dick Army, who's the chairman of Freedom Works, and he pointed out that they like the Romney plan. It's flat, it's transparent, it's easy to understand, but that they're not sure that Perry's really as committed to the plan as he might ought to be. They don't really like the Kane plan all that much because they don't think that a national sales tax works that well and really hasn't worked in any other country that's tried to do it. And then again, you get to the timid, tepid approach of Mitt Romney. Freedom Works and Dick Army think that he's not pushing a plan of any kind aggressively enough to show the kind of bold America needs when we're facing trillion dollar deficits, a true economic crisis, and need leadership that will step out and do something new, not just kind of trim around the edges. So there you have it. Everybody's getting their plans out there, but which plan will the American people buy? It's confusing, it's conflicting, and anything different than what we have will probably be better than what we have. But passing something different is always going to be tough because every little interest group, every little person that calculates their own deal is going to be figuring out what does this mean to me rather than what does this mean to America, creating jobs and creating more prosperity. Again, it's going to be a muddled mess, and we'll have to work our way through it over the next couple of months and see if any plan can actually move from the discussion stage to the implementation stage. I'm Steve Gill. That's your Daily Notes for today, and we'll be back soon with more.